Finally tonight, it is the best of times, it is the worst of times. The exchange rate is fabulous, the exchange rate is horrible. Priya David and Elizabeth Palmer now with a tale of two cities. Here's the flag. Yeah, there they are. <laughs> there they are. They're coming this way. The pomp, the pageantry, the prices. Oh. Oh. The dollar to the pound is horrible. <laughs> we can hardly eat here. Yeah. We can't eat. Barbara Chwatak, her sister Michelle, and their families are feeling the pain of a U.S. dollar that's only worth half a British pound. Four bus tickets alone will cost them $140. Fantastic view of the Houses of Parliament. What a view. Yeah. Wow. Making these sites the most expensive in the world. And for the first time in seven years, the number of Americans vacationing in London has fallen by 4%. No, I don't have enough. I'll, uh, I'll, pay, I'll, I'll put it on a card. Cash or plastic, it all hurts. From the Tower of London right down to the price of peaches for a snack. So how many did you get I for think six, I got six bucks? I think I had six. A dollar I just each. Get, yeah, I guess it's a dollar each. Is that more expensive than Oh, it's much more. Much more expensive much than at home. The Chwatak strategy? See as much as they can in 24 hours and get out of town. They're going on a cruise. It's cheaper. Elizabeth Palmer, CBS News, London. And I'm Priya David in New York, New York. On the front lines of the British invasion, they're pouring in by the millions, like the Cornforth sisters of London and their family. So is it worth the money you're spending for this holiday? Yes, oh, yes, yes, yeah. And the money exchange is very good for us at the moment. And that's very good for an otherwise struggling economy. Almost one and a half million British tourists are expected to visit New York this year. They'll spend about $1,700 each, injecting $2 billion into New York's economy. We can even always ask someone anyway. The Cornforts are doing their share. So that's £100. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really, that's good value. Yeah. And they can afford to splurge at lunchtime. Is the steak good? This day, the pound was trading 1.9 to the dollar, meaning the $79 for a back-to-school outfit would have cost more than $160 in London. And that $140 steak meal? Closer to $275 in the UK. Bad for you, but so good for the English because we get everything half price, really. Majestic views, both there and here but with a far more appealing price tag on this side of the pond. New York, it's a business place. Priya David, CBS News, New York.